and welcome to a very special review. So these guys are called Sporty Food, um, Food for Sport, um, you will see um, them on Instagram. And they have very kindly sent me a really, really amazing care package. So basically, all their food is built for athletes, um, although you can incorporate it just into a into a healthy diet. So they're kind of low carb, high protein, and yeah, made with kind of good fibrous ingredients. And they've just sent me a plethora of snacks. And basically what it is, is an alternative to everyday snacks and food, but high protein version. So as you can see here, they've, um, they've sent me some spiral pasta. I will not be taste testing the pasta today because I haven't cooked it, quite frankly. But we've got spiral pasta and we've also got penne. So for example, this portion is a 50 gram portion. Um, you're looking at 171 calories with seven grams of carbs, four grams of fiber and 30 grams of protein. So this is very similar to sort of what you get in like my protein, things like that, where they do the high protein pasta. So. I just thought we'd do a taste test of everything. Rather than doing kind of singular reviews, why not do a live? So we're gonna go straight in with, let's go with this. So we've got a high protein croissant, which is, I have never ever seen this before, which sounds amazing because I love croissants. So why not make it um, protein, uh, 15 gram of protein. Protein, I don't think that's even a word, protein. Anyway, we move on. So anyway, this has got 15 grams of protein, um, 10 grams of fat, 178 calories, four grams of carbs with six grams of fiber. And yeah, let's just go in. Um, I can smell it. I mean, it smells quite artificial. So if I just... So it's very bready, um, almost like brioche. It does smell weirdly like chocolate. <laughs> it smells like cocoa powder. But um It's quite chewy. It's not flaky um or light like a normal croissant. It is quite it's quite doughy. It's more like I would say a um a sweet brioche bun. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm keen on that. The flavour is very strange. It's almost got a weird, sweet, kind of almost fruity flavour to it. I'm just going to have a quick look at the ingredients now. So you've got, yeah, so it's got like whey protein, egg whites, rice protein, uh, da, 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 coconut oil, salt creatine uh wheat protein so it isn't gluten free wheat fiber so yeah obviously none of these products are gluten free so i am only going to taste a very small amount of them because obviously too much gluten is not good for my diet but um you know we move on so anyway i'm gonna give the the protein croissant i mean nutrition wise you're looking at 15 grams of protein protein you know, it's quite low in carbs. It's under 200 calories. Um, it's, I don't know whether you can class that as an alternative because for me, I've had a real croissant and that wouldn't give me my fix. That would just feel like a brioche, but we're going to give that five out of 10. So next we're going to go for, I think, these. So I've been given basically protein mini cookies. So we've got the... Uh, what flavour is that? Vanilla lemon we're going to go for. We've also been giving them in cocoa. So we'll go for vanilla lemon first. So you've got a little bag of 50 grams and they're kind of this size. So quite small. Um, they smell nice. They smell like a dessert kind of um, dessert biscuit, like a little Italian like almond kind of biscotti biscuit. So it's more like a little, almost like a hardened like Jaffa cake sponge texture, not really like a, a crumbly biscuit, but um, they're really nice actually. I like them. 
So again, you get a 50 gram portion in the bag, 180 calories for them, nine grams of fat, five grams of carbs, 0.5 grams of sugar, 4.5 grams of fiber, and a whopping, sorry, no, that was wrong, 11 grams of fiber and 16 grams of protein. Um, you've also got 215 milligrams of um, carnitine and 500 milligrams of HMB, which I'm not sure what HMB is, but, but yeah, again, very similar ingredients, um, obviously with vanilla and, and lemon flavoring, uh, wheat protein, egg whites, oat protein, coconut oil. Um, but yeah, they are actually really nice. So I'm going to give them a good 7 out of 10 because they're very flavorful. The vanilla is quite sweet and, and smooth, but the lemon is a little bit zingy. So the lemon really adds to that. I think if they were just vanilla, they might be a bit flavorless, but the lemon really adds to that. So we're going to move on now to the cocoa flavored. Again, exactly the same macros. Um, coming in with 180 gram, 80 calories. Again, a small one. Exactly the same texture, more like a kind of hardened Jaffa cake sponge. Um, yeah, they're quite nice. The cocoa isn't too strong. I just feel like it just tastes more like a sweet biscuit rather than. I don't think I'd know if I had my eyes closed that that was a chocolate flavour, but it is quite nice. I can imagine these little biscuits really nice dunked in tea or kind of like sprinkled over yoghurt or I know a lot of people like top their oats with different bits and bobs. These are quite nice as an oat topper. And they're quite nice. Now, because they are high in fibre, they're really a little bit dry. Um, but they're really flavourful. Like honestly, they are remind me of them little like amaretti, is it called amaretti biscuits? Um, where they're little small cookies, like Italian cookies, they remind me of them. So they're really flavourful. I like them. So next up, we're going to go for, um, so we've got the muffins. Let's do the muffins. So we've been sent um, a chocolate one. So a chocolate muffin, which is awesome. And the last time I saw a company do these, I think it was a Go Nutrition. They did a protein muffin like years ago. And I'm gutted that they stopped doing that. So I'm glad that these, these guys do one because um, I think it's a really good product to bring out. So again, this is uh, the coconut, sorry, the chocolate flavour. It gives you a whopping 15 grams of protein, 9 grams of fibre, 4 grams of carbs in this. So this is it. I've got a feeling this is going to feel more like kind of like a, uh, maybe like a scone or a cake texture rather than an actual muffin because that to me looks kind of more like I don't know we'll, we'll see shall we but it's got like I don't know whether you can see it's got little chocolate chips based all around it so this is coming in at let's just get the calories for you da -da -da. oh wow that's a lot less than I thought it would be I've really not opened this package very well so i ripped it right down where it should say but this comes in at 162 calories the muffin weighs 50 grams and you get 7.5 grams of fat and only 0.4 grams of sugar so going in hard on the muffin do we do top or bottom let's go for the one with the most chocolate chips let's go for bottom so that's the inside mmm Again, the taste is similar to the croissant, where it's got like a weird brioche flavour, sweetness, um, which is very artificial. However, that's quite nice. I think possibly heated up might bring out the chocolate flavour a little bit more. Um, the chocolate chips are really nice. They add a nice little kind of like smooth um, addition to the texture. Um, and there's quite a lot of them in there as well, like they're dotted all around, which is quite nice. But um, but yeah, that, that's quite nice, quite nice. So we'll move quickly on to the um, next one. So this is the fruit flavoured muffin. Um, so it just says berries. So I mean, in the picture, you've got blueberries, raspberries and blackberries. So again, similar macros, 162 calories, exactly the same macros, to be honest. So we're going to go in now on this one. 
again and 50 grams in this one this one feels a little bit less uh, more moist should i say so it comes in like this And you can see there's kind of like fruity um, berries and stuff in all around it. So let's go for the bottom this time with a little bit of fruit. Inside. Mm. This one's nicer. This you can really, it has got a fruity kind of flavour. It's not too strong. I would have liked more kind of juicy you know, like in a blueberry muffin when you've got big juicy bits. That would have been a really nice addition. However, um, this is quite nice and flavourful. I think because, like I've said, with the croissant and the, the chocolate muffin, there's been a, an odd kind of fruity sweetness. Because this is meant to be fruity flavoured, this one it tastes much nicer and um, a lot more kind of less artificial if that makes sense again you know high protein it is going to be um more vigorous in texture a little bit firmer a little bit tougher but again all of these taste very bready um as opposed to kind of cakey but they, they are nice and i can say like already they're quite thinning like i'm only having like bites here and there but i already feel like quite full so i suppose satiating wise um the fact that they're high in fiber like you know it's ticking boxes there um, so next we're going to go for these are let's have a break actually from the sweetness we're going to go to these these are paprika crackers so 22 grams of protein in these bad boys um, again all these packs are 50 grams so in here you get 176 calories 5 grams of fat 4 grams of carbs 0.5 grams of sugar um 12.5 grams of fiber that is a heck of a lot and 22.5 grams of fiber so yeah let's go for these so this is what they look like they're like little um ridged ridged crackers quite firm and uh break off so like a crisp not a crisp but a cracker um i love paprika flavored anything so these are really nice they have like an an underlying cheesy flavor you know what they remind me of? Ritz biscuits. Um, the cheesy Ritz biscuits. These are really nice. Um, I think so far these are my favourite out of everything. Which I didn't think I'd like because I am more of a sweet person than savoury. However, they are really good. So if you like cheesy Ritz, um, Ritz biscuits. No, what are they called? I just said it before. Now I've forgotten. Um, if you like the cheesy Ritz biscuits you will like them they are really really nice and the, the paprika flavor has a little bit of like a, a nice kind of tomato -y seasoning um which is really nice there's a little bit of like spice there which adds to it too but they are really flavorful and i can imagine like them being very filling if you were to just have 50 grams you know you've got 12 grams of fiber that that's a lot of fiber in a little packet of crackers um so let's move on so now we're going on to their, this one's called a Maxi Bar. So I'm guessing it's like a, I don't know really, it's not really a protein bar because it just looks like a large biscuit. Um, it could kind of be similar to like a cereal bar or something like that. So this is their mixed, uh, this is their Berries Maxi Bar, the one that I'm going to try now. So it's quite big. It's like 35 grams, but they're quite big. Like, that's quite large if you look at it compared to my hand. And it's obviously got, like, berries, like, infused inside it as well. Again, you know, it's, um, it's like, quite cakey. When I, when I tore that, then it was quite soft. And you can see there I can, I can press down into it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not kind of, like, hard. I thought it would be, like, the... Is it like the McVitie biscuits or something? But they're not, they're quite cakey, so. These remind me of the biscuits I, um when I go and see my, my family in Sicily, they have these and then they dip them in their hot milk. Reminds me of that. Um, mm, they're really nice. You know what, these, these remind me of um, Farley Rusks. They're very similar to that texture and that flavor. 
they are really really good so this is a 35 gram um kind of they call it a protein bar but i would say that's more like a protein biscuit um 126 calories 6.3 grams of fat three grams of carbs with 0.35 grams of sugar seven grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein so that was really flavorful really fruity and yeah i could eat i could eat them um this is winning so far definitely this one is the best this again is another one um so it's got this is nut flavored and it's got carnitine infused in it 11 grams of protein exactly the same macros but with nut flavor so another 126 calorie biscuit which is quite large again nutty flavored if you can see there you can see just the nuts infused inside it so i'm holding out big hopes for this one because it smells really nice Mm. yeah they are good okay so they're really nice um they're really kind of milky and sweet and the texture of them is very soft and crumbly almost like again all these products they're not like hard and crunchy they're soft they're crumbly like they're softly baked almost like they've just been kind of freshly baked um more cakey um but really, really nice, honestly. So I think I'm going to go, the two biscuits are my two favourite. So I'm going to say that they are, I'm going to give them probably an 8 out of 10. Then you've got the mini cookies, which are coming in second. I would say these are about a 7 out of 10. Um, you've got the paprika crackers, definitely again, probably on par with the cookies, 7 out of 10. Muffins, I wanted them to be better in all honesty. But they are still nice and they're a good alternative to like a full sugared version, a full fat version. And they bring in a hell of a lot of protein, like 14 grams of fibre in that muffin is amazing. Again, I think heated up would probably be better. Maybe I should have tried that. Um, I'm going to give them probably like a 6 out of 10. And with the, the croissant, unfortunately, like I love the texture. It was lovely. I think I would probably market that as a brioche, um, a sweet brioche bun rather than a croissant because the flavour... And the texture it is of a brioche it's not of a croissant however it's filling and i did really like the texture of this it's just the flavor for me was a little bit kind of off um which i'm really gutted about but um nonetheless like all of these products are the the nutrition in them and the macros are really good and they are a really good alternative for high fiber diets, high protein diets, low carb diets. So anybody who follows maybe like, you know, a rigorous training plan that, plan that struggles to get in protein, these kind of snacks are really good for like post-workout because you can get your protein in, but also kind of feel satiated at the same time. Um, again, anyone who follows a keto diet, they're probably really good for you. Very low in carb, very low in sugar. Like none of these products have over a gram of sugar inside, which is incredible. Um, Again, you know, they have other things on the website, like they do have like larger, larger breads that you can buy. You've got the pasta, which I've not tried yet. Um, and then obviously all of these products. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for sending me these out. If you do want to purchase these products, if you use code GINA, just G-I-N-A, you get 10% off your purchase. And it really supports me as well um when you use my code thank you so much all these products are amazing and you know a really good addition to your diet um, i'm giving you my honest reviews obviously you know this is what i think and what i feel some of you guys might like certain products more than me if you do purchase them like let me know i'm interested to know what you guys think um all infused with whey protein so you know it's good quality protein going into them high fiber which is really good it supports the digestive system so thank you so much go and follow them food for sport on instagram check them out and um yeah follow their protein evolution of snack foods thanks guys and we'll see you in the next one